Having gotten our print string working and importing the data from our previous video, um, a few things to pay attention to. Obviously, now we have our um, game instance sgraph array, which was the array that we were updating. And we have our CSV info variable that we have passed our payload into uh, using the make CSV info from string node. Okay, so, so accessing that data, I've done in a couple of ways just to sort of demonstrate different options. So if we just pop back to the spreadsheet, you'll see that I've also now added a column um, called spawn location, spawn lock, and that's the formatting for a vector for passing that information through into Unreal Engine. So coming into our project, if we pop to the data viz setup blueprint, you'll see that I am accessing our GIS graph array, having already updated the struct and I'm getting a ref and then right clicking on that and splitting that struct to get this node. And then in a position to basically call which row number I'm wanting to access. That's the column name. And in this case, I was breaking that vector so that I could update the location just on the X and Y of the project I'm working in. But that kind of combination of getting the game instance version of the array, which we've written to here in terms of the array to update, and then breaking that, and then splitting that array using a get node and accessing any of the variables based on row index to pass through. Coming over to another blueprint, here I'm accessing things in a slightly different way. So I have my uh, game instance blueprint function library function, and I am accessing the payload, which was what we wrote here. Converting that, and then coming in, accessing that, and then using the get column as string array node. And I'm actually nominating the column name that I want. Here, I've just used an append node to give me the same name and using an index number to iterate through the information on a for each loop. And that information is then being passed through as an array because I'm bringing in the full column of information. And then I'm using an index integer to select which row I want there. So that's the kind of flow. I'm nominating the column, loading the full column, and then filtering out, using an index number to filter out which array item, i.e. row, I want. Um, there's a few other nodes that I've used. This is the kind of cousin of get column of string array. We also have get row a string array. And earlier on, I was having trouble working with arrays. It's not the case now using this method, but I was just trying to use this to bring in a vector array and I was running into trouble. So I thought actually there might be an easier way of doing it or a different way of doing it, which still works with string, but it uses the pass into array node, which is a standard editor node and gives you the ability to nominate a delimiter character. So in another project where I've been using this here, for example, you can see that I've got some department names um, for an exhibition. So flies, larvae, beetles, worms, and each of those words was just delimited by less than symbol as a way of demarking it. And that then gets brought in as a full string, but then I'm splitting it up by using this delimiter and then we're saving that to an array. 
So that's how I got around it at the time. But actually, from a formatting point of view, somebody doing it manually in Google Sheets, it's simpler. There are, of course, many other nodes under Easy CSV. So I won't go through them all now, but there's quite a few options here to kind of manipulate the information that you're pulling through. And you can kind of load in and save out files um, at runtime as well. So it's good to look under Easy CSV, which is what you'll gain access to with the plugin, but then also coming down to runtime data table, you've got a few others there. So hopefully that's of use. Um, if these videos are giving you some value, then please do like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So thank you for your support. Live long and prosper.